G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be fully explaining everything you need to know about the new crafting mechanic in Fortnite Season 6. I'm also going to be teaching you how to get a guaranteed spaz. Yes, that is a guaranteed epic or legendary pump shotgun every single game. I'm going to teach you how to craft stink bows. I'm going to teach you how to craft shockwave bows. Literally everything you need to know about the mechanic of crafting, I'm going to show you. I just streamed the update night and a whole bunch of you guys I know are going to ask, Ozzy, what are your thoughts on the new season? What about this? What about that? And all those videos are good but they're always super rushed, like an everything new in the season. And this season has changed so much. Instead of just making a super rushed video like that that I'm not proud of, I'd rather pick one mechanic like crafting that has literally completely changed the game and give you a proper in-depth guide on how it works. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because a whole bunch of videos are going to come out covering everything that's new, but I want to make sure I take the time to learn it properly and make an actual in-depth video. All right, let's start off explaining what is crafting. So basically in the game right now, there's pretty much two main trees of weapons. You have mechanical weapons, which is just your regular weapons. Like a mechanical shotgun is just a pump shotgun. A mechanical assault rifle is just your regular AR. Then you have primal weapons. Now primals have AR, shotgun, SMG, all that kind of stuff, pistol. When you get a makeshift weapon, so that is a weapon that you find on the ground. It is makeshift, which means that you can now craft it into mechanical or primal. Whatever you want to do with your weapon, whether you want to make a mechanical or whether you want to make a primal is up to you. I'm just going to explain how you craft them. I've done a bit of testing and honestly, mechanical weapons are still better. But if you want to make a primal weapon, go right ahead. But the way you do it is to get a primal weapon, you need animal parts. You need bones. The way you get them is either by killing wolves or killing boars. You'll find wolves and boars in different areas around the map, usually in more wooded areas. But all you gotta do is find a pack of those. You kill them, they drop the bones, and then you use the bones to upgrade your makeshift weapon to a primal weapon. How you make a mechanical weapon is by breaking down mechanical objects, like breaking down a car or a truck or rusty cars. It's worth pointing out vehicles will always give you one mechanical part guaranteed just by breaking it you can also get extra parts by hitting it as you do also there's these like kind of red toolboxes around the map they also give you metal i've also found that if you drop the spire areas or any of the new primal areas if you break the tables and stuff they also give you bones now how do you actually upgrade them and make something you want so just keep in mind, you can't go from a makeshift to a mechanical and then back to a primal or from a primal to a mechanical or whatever it is. Just think about you have the makeshift weapon that you can then choose to either upgrade to primal or upgrade to mechanical. So the way you actually make things you want, for example, a spaz, the best way to get a spaz right now, guaranteed other than the strategy I'm about to explain, but getting it through upgrading is really, really easy. All you've got to do is get a blue makeshift uh, rifle and then you upgrade it to a purple mechanical shotgun. It's very, very simple. Because remember, when you're uh, when you're crafting, you're going one tier higher. So for example, if you have a makeshift gray weapon and you craft it into a mechanical green shotgun, it'll go to that green rarity. It always goes up one rarity. So if you find a makeshift blue on the ground, which isn't that rare, just farm cars, get four mechanical parts, and then upgrade it to a mechanical shotgun, which is just a spaz. It's a purple pump. So that's how you actually make things you want. The other really, really good method that I've found as well is even if you find a green makeshift and you drop an area that has an upgrade NPC, because remember, gold is still in the game, all you got to do is just go from a green makeshift to a blue mechanical and then go from blue to purple by paying gold. So that's pretty much the best way to guarantee a spaz through uh, mechanical upgrading. Remember also, this can still do scars. You can get, you can go from AR to scar. You can do SMGs. This doesn't just apply for shotguns. It's just obviously with spaz back in the game, everyone wants to get their hands on the purple and legendary pump. It's also worth noting though, the purple pump has been nerfed. The headshot only hits for a maximum of 189, but the legendary spaz does hit for 203 headshots so you still have one pump headshots now an even better way to get a guaranteed spaz every single game no rng it is always there is the npc at the log jam the tomato head guy actually drops one if you challenge him so if you drop log jam you challenge tomato head you will get a guaranteed purple spaz every single time now this is obviously going to get figured out pretty quickly especially with people like me making videos on it so a lot of people are going to be dropping there but i wanted to make sure i included in my video because that is a guaranteed 100% spaz spawn. You don't need to get a blue makeshift. You don't need to do any of that. 
Let's talk about some of the other really, really cool things you can make with crafting and upgrading. Now, some of these are in competitive, some of them aren't. So nades aren't in competitive. So for example, you can't make an explosive bow, but you can make a stink bow, which is insanely strong for competitive. It's literally stink nades and you can carry like 30 of them so insanely easily on a bow. So let me explain. With the bows, you can again go the route of mechanical bows or you can go primal bows. Now, different bows make different upgrade versions. So for example, a primal bow can be upgraded to a stink bow, but a mechanical bow cannot be upgraded to a stink bow. Also, you can have a mechanical bow that gives you either a shockwave bow that is not in competitive. You can only upgrade it using shockwave. So it's in pubs, but is insanely broken or an explosive bow, which again, you can't make in competitive because you need grenades. But let me explain how you make them. So for example, a stink bow, because this is going to be super, super strong for competitive. All you need to do is find a makeshift bow or a primal bow. You need to then get it to at least green rarity, upgrade it to the primal bow, just using bones. Same as I already explained previously on how you can make any anything primal and then you need to kill a frog to get a stink sack the frogs are pretty much anywhere water is they are so easy to find once you have it once you have a blue primal bow all you do is craft go to crafting you'll see a bunch of options for which ones you can pick if you're carrying a stink sack you then turn it into a stink bow and it is so ridiculously strong just note if you're going to be using any of these weird types of bows for example you make the shockwave bow by getting to a blue mechanical bow and then getting two shockwaves and you combine them and it makes the bow or same thing with nades but you need six nades get to a blue mechanical bow and then combine with six nades to make the explosive bow but just note if you want to actually use the effect on the bow like let's say you want to make a stink grenade or you want to use the shockwave effect you have to fully draw the bow if you just click it nothing will happen but if you fully draw it then it will get the effect just something worth noting for what i've found the primal smg is insane if you have the chance to upgrade the primal smg and get it to an uh, epic or legendary variant it is ridiculous. So finding a good primal SMG at any of the drop spots and then going and uh, hunting down wolves or boars and then upgrading it, especially if you're a controller player, is insane. Like the only thing that's better is going to be a legendary or uh, epic pump. Any of the spazzes can kind of obviously do a fair bit of damage. But if you're versing any of the weaker shotguns and you get in someone's face, it is like more broken than the P90. The biggest issue with the primal weapons right now is because they don't have first shot accuracy. You know where your crosshair goes real tight so you get a guaranteed first shot no bloom they don't have that so the primal ar feels a bit weak because it doesn't really work at medium to long range but the primal smg you don't need first shot accuracy anyway you get inside someone's box you have a ridiculous fire rate and you will just completely melt them so as much as i want to advertise figuring out how to get a spaz trying to get your uh, mechanical pumps if you can't find it uh you know a blue uh upgradable shotgun just go a primal smg they are ridiculously strong right now all right, guys, that basically does it for my guide today. Like I said, more guide videos coming out in the future. If you have any questions or you're confused, always swing by my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash I'm going to be playing pubs and arena a whole bunch, trying to figure out new stuff in the season. I want to do some videos like drop spot guides or any other crazy stuff that comes up. Maybe just some tips and tricks because I'm already finding some interesting stuff with these new items, with the jump pads around the map. I'm learning there's ways you can glitch it to go even higher. So that stuff's all coming. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like today's video, please check a like on it let me know in the comment section down below or let everyone else know if there's anything i forgot thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one